Maurice, can you just kind of talk about what the the offensive line did? No tackles for a loss for you guys. No no negative plays. Well, the offensive line did, and how you kind of have to be patient, you know, with with Jawar and with Isaac. The three of you always really kind of have to be patient on on who gets your touches. We're going to that game. Felt like we already knew how the run game was going to go because we had, we have a great offensive line. We had a lot of transfers come in, and to me, I feel like this is the best offensive line I had since I've been here. Since, this is my second year. But going into that game, we started off slow. After a while, but we picked it up in the second half, and that's when we started to really move the ball downfield with the O line, and even the um, pass blocking with the O line. We started to make some big plays downfield, and Jawar had that um, big run at the end. I feel like he was blocked up pretty well. He was one on one with the safety, and made him miss, ran him over, and got missing. Mm -hmm. TJ, there was a play, I've forgotten exactly when it happened, but you put a really nasty hit on a guy, and I, your father flashed before my eyes. Is that something that kind of, is it he ingrained in you to, to play that way? Yeah, he um, he always told me about how he used to play, and I think that's what he was known for, being a hard hitter. And then after the game, he was like, oh, when I made that hit, he had some flashbacks, so that was nice. TJ, Coach Hagen was just talking, and Coach Brown both talked about the second quarter. And, 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 and for you as a player out there, what was different in that second quarter than maybe the rest of the game? I feel like in the second quarter, it was just mistakes. Like, you know, one person messed up and it did the um, result in a big play, and that's what happened. But we just had to get back together, make some adjustments, and that's what um, y'all seen in the second half. Kind of sticking with that from a defensive, well, from both of you, I guess, but we'll start with TJ. Uh, obviously, there was a huge difference after halftime. We've heard from some of the guys after the game, you know, about you know things that Braum might have said or the, what the halftime experience was like. From your perspective, what was that like for the team in, in going into the locker room after such a poor quarter, hearing from your coach, and then coming out and performing the way you did? Well, coming out in the second half, we knew we had to get some stops in order to get our offense back in the game. We knew that our offense was going to make plays. And so just coming out, we just knew we had to play hard and just play our brand of football how we did in the first quarter. And we just showed that in the second half. Yeah, going into halftime, we knew we wasn't playing how we were supposed to play, how we've been practicing in the summer up until the game. So we had just regroup, come together, and stick together. And that's when we showed that in the second half. For both you guys, what do you kind of expect the atmosphere to be like on Thursday night and, and being the home open and there's a lot of energy around the program right now and a blackout? What do you, what do you kind of expect it to be on Thursday? Uh, for, the, for the first home game, I, I expect to be, I expect the crowd to be into it. You know, there's been a lot of hype around the city, you know, with Coach Brown coming back. So with that and then the blackout, I feel like it'd be a great experience for everybody. Yeah, I'm very excited for this first home game since. LeBron's being back, you know, I got respect for Murray State, but I feel like we're going to execute, have a better game than we did versus Georgia Tech, and get the fans what they came to see. TJ, obviously the linebacker rooms had a lot, you know, of loss and just kind of different things, and being a little bit unpredictable in what actually was going to happen. I guess what's that been like for you in, you know, earning this spot and just being able to do what you've been able to do because you've been one that, you know, the coach have talked about since this first um, as far as as far as the linebackers, I feel like we 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 had that chip on our shoulder all, all season because you know we heard what's been said. You know we we have had a lot of people that had left and went other places, but we just feel like that we we can get the job done. You know, and I, I think that's what we had to show that we can get it done. And as far as me, you know, being able to earn that starting role, I feel like that, that just shows I need to be more of a leader and I step up some more. Maurice, Coach Rump's <laughs> teams have been known primarily as passing teams. How much do you think uh, the success from the Georgia Tech game and the, and the running game, you actually had more running plays than pass plays, which, which is also different, uh, generally speaking, for Rump's teams. How much do you think you guys can make this a quote-unquote running team? Well, I feel like the passing game is going to lead us on to that um, 
having defenses being scared of our passing game, we'll open up the box and more for us so we can run the ball. And um, we had a lot of success with that. Okay. Um, starting in the summer, going to get our defense and stuff, and I feel like it's going to be a great season with the running game because of our passing game. TJ, how does it make you feel to be compared to your father when you make plays, and how important is it for you to play where your father was from? Well, listen, I mean, it was important. You know, that went to my decision. You know, them going here that influenced me a little bit. You know, I always I had one to follow his footsteps. And <clears throat> just by me making plays, you know, it, it just reminds a lot of people that was here when he was when he was here. Like, it just reminds them about how he used to play, and then they say they see that in me. So. Like that's a good thing, you know. I just want to keep that going. Anything else? All right, thanks, guys.